Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So we're out here in the ocean again today, going for some bluefin tuna. We're on my boat, the North River, 20 foot. And I got my friend Eric, Morning. my brother Steven with me today. And hopefully this is the team that I put together to catch the uh, first bluefin tuna on this boat. So hopefully we can do it today, guys. Yep, I'm feeling pretty good. So we're about 25 miles out right now. Just hit about 59, 60 degree water, which is pretty good. Seeing some birds flying around and we got some pretty good visibility today, which is really exciting because we're hoping we can see some, you know, birds diving, help us locate these uh, bluefin tuna. So we'll be running the Mad Max. Got these two colors that we'll be using on the Akuma gear. I'm seeing a lot of birds go this way. Nice, all right. All right, well, we're seeing a lot of birds flying out, so excited about that. Looks like they're all heading out, so we're gonna head out west right now. Go ahead and set these lines back and get trolling. The first one we're setting back to be the farther one. That's the 50 wide. Got a thousand yards of 130 pound test on here. So I have my line marked. Um, I use a football field, so I have it marked at um, 360 yards on this one and 480 yards. So what we're going to do is go ahead and set this one to 360 yards, maybe a little bit past it. And then the other one I have it marked at 240 yards. I'm going to go to the 240 and just a little past it. So all said and done, we'll probably be at like 275 yards and maybe 375 yards. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that black stripe there, so that's 360 yards. So like I said, yep, we just went past it a little bit. We'll go ahead and put it there. Okay, so whenever you come back here to just do whatever you know, throughout the day, you look at the raw tips. You want to always make sure they're, you know, yeah. bouncing like they are right now. Okay. So now you're going to go up to like 12, 13 miles per hour. So we got the lines out. Beautiful morning with the sunrise. We got about six foot swells today. Winds about six, seven miles per hour almost all day long. So the conditions we see right now are probably what they're gonna be all day. There's some birds. Alright, we're, we're engaged. Alright. Yep. 
This is the easier part. The harder part's getting in the boat. And Rose by like, fuck, fuck. We'll be losing everyone today. Just start reeling. Reel. I'll hold the rod. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Get them ready. It's going to be a while. He's like right here. No, he's not. He's a football field away still. He's big. Yep. He's probably 180. Let's not think about it. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you want me to go. Chris, ready? You want me to go again, Chris? Be time to start. Okay, we're getting close to the motor. Chris, turn, turn, turn. Let go, let go. Go turn the boat. Help me get a head on the pole. Yeah. The boat's fine. No, I want someone else to reel right now because we're not at the end. Let me get in. Who's sure? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just watch, watch the rod tip. Oh, shit. I can do this thing. Oh, wow. He's a big one. Yeah, he's big. Dude, look. He's... Oh, there he goes again. If you watched my last video, you would know I lost a big tuna in the prop. I learned from that and now have the prop trimmed up so it's barely submerged in the water. We're moving about 2-3 miles per hour and maneuvering to keep the fish hopefully on the side of the boat. If I go to neutral, the fish can go anywhere at once. Sure I can lift the rod around the motor, but I cannot do that on the bow with my boat. Find what works for you and your boat, do what's most comfortable, gain experience, and then you'll be ready. Real, 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 real! You keep turning short. Eric, watch out, Eric, lift the rod, lift the rod. You just take over right now, if you can. He's out, he's out, he's out, surface, 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 get the gas. That's the gaffs. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You got it? Where are the gaps? Up top. Here, you stay right here with a short one in the back. I'm moving the tour out of the way. Oh. Uh. Ready, Should I go down like this, Chris? Yep. Be like you got it. Oh, wait, wait. I'll tell you when. Right here, guys. No. So, Steve, you yeah. stay like that and. If he starts going underneath the motor, we have to lift the rod out. Slow down. Take Slow keeper. I'm right here. Steve, my, oh, I might have to. Just whoever's first, it doesn't matter. Steve. You tag team it. He's got to come up right Damn, he's big. Oh, shit. Hold on, stay like that. Stay like that. Stay like that, Chris. Stay like that. You're doing good. Just there. like that. Oh, slow down. We gotta slow down the right motor. There? Yeah, he's, he's right here. Go to neutral and get him. Or... Get him. Oh, oh, oh slow, 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 slow. <laughs> Yeah, we did it! Oh, wait! Oh. oh! Dang, oh, that thing is a beast! Woo. Oh my god, guys! Way to go! Oh. <laughs> wow! Oh, dude, that's ultimate! Awesome.
Awesome. Team fish, huh? Watch your gaff. We did it. We did oh. it. Oh, oh my god. What do you say, Chris, size-wise? This is the biggest one. Same as last. Same yeah. as last. Another 40 pounder. Right. Oh yeah, my man. god, guys. Lines in water. Yeah. Let's go. Beautiful. I didn't realize it was like right there. Oh. oh man. Crazy, right? I gotta get a picture. Let's get the hook out of here before he hurts you. <laughs> well, a lot of effort to get this fish, a lot of work to finally get one in my boat. Man, it doesn't feel amazing. Thank you guys. So happy you guys were on the boat with me. Oh, yeah. Awesome. What a treat. And uh, yeah, I went out with trips with my dad, Matt's Fisherman's Life, Taku. And uh, yeah, happened today finally. So thank you, Tuna. Oh. The beast you are. All right. and thanks to D&D, &D, the last trip I went out with them. And we got them. They helped me get this fish. That's wild. Whoa, oh, I hit it. Nice. Is that on a boat's body yet or no? <laughs> I don't see anyone. No. Around on those ones, but nothing, so we're going back north. There we go. Start going a little bit up, Steve. Okay. Keep all the blood back here. Yep. So we all have to take a bite of the heart. Oh. Cut the heart out. Yeah, yeah. There's the heart. Cut, take that out. This is a delicacy. All right. Let's save it. We're eating a bite. Yeah. First bluefin tuna on my boat. Oh god. added a friend to the boat and he weighs over 150 pounds I think. How was it guys? Battle. A bit of a good fight. Right? Until you experience it there's nothing else like it. Man that fight's so hard. It takes all your energy. Happy there's three of us huh? Yeah. It makes a big difference. <laughs> yeah for sure. I think I think three is the perfect number team. Definitely get two gaffs in it right away. You guys did a great job with the gaff. Thank you. I think I kind of teed it up right there perfect for you. <laughs> uh, I got lucky. <laughs> uh, oh, feels unbelievable. So we have the lines back in. I mean, we hooked up with that one in the first, I would say that was probably 20 minutes into trolling. We caught that. Haven't looked at the camera obviously yet, but probably 30 minutes to bring it in or so. We'll see if we can get one more. Keep this guy on ice. And who knows what's in store for us today. Hopefully that line starts screaming again. Feels like we're about to go off again. Real fishy. We see birds and dolphins. And our baits are kind of going through it right now.
We're screaming with number two. <laughs> Itching, huh? Yeah, my turn. It doesn't feel nearly as bad knowing we have a big one in the boat. And that one, all of us thought it definitely felt small in the last one, but I'm sure it was still a 100 pound tuna. Definitely crappy to lose it. But let's get these lines back out and uh, get another one hooked up, hopefully. We got a little more lax of days the boat, the fish got too much up here. But so, uh, so to re uh, lessons learned are keep the fish there more, and don't stop reeling, and if you can't do it, get the next person in. Well, it took us 40 minutes to look up it again. shouldn't tangle that often. I mean, tangle a little bit. I don't even, I don't know they are. Like the way, um, I feel like. Mine's feel, that's about consistent the whole time. Yeah. I think we're fine. Oh, whoa, oh, you're on. Oh, you're shit. On. Oh, jeez. Hold it, hold it. Oh, shit. There you go. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's pulling so hard. Yo, hold it. Oh yeah. my God. Just go. Oh yes. my God. Yes! Oh, that was the sweetest bite yes. ever! Checking the rods. Give me the cooler to sit on. Yeah! Oh, what a bite, dude! What a bite! Yeah, holding it. Ah, oh, dude, I felt what it. What a hit. bite! Oh my god, Steve. Oh, guys, this is a miracle. Straight down the rod holder. Oh, so we're not tangled. Oh, we're, oh my god, dude, all that was meant to be. Steve, real. real. Good thing is, it's not as far out because I'm building a line. Yeah, that's going to help. Oh my god. Switch? I wasn't in gear, I'm back in gear now. Get this thing in the uh, cup holder on that one. Just reeling it in, huh? Oh yeah. You weren't even reeling that fast. No, I wasn't. I was getting tired. <laughs> and then it just ripped it out of my hand. Come drive, Chris. So you guys can see here, we just have the rotation going. 
person fights the fish. When they're done, they come back and drive the motor. Next man up then helps the person kind of hold the rod in position. Fish is in a good spot. Yeah. We're working. getting close, right? We're getting really getting close. Oh, he's pulling. Oh, he's pulling. Wow. I feel like he's a good one. I do too. Go, go, go. I can't. Go, go. Please rip it. Go, go. Oh, go. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. We haven't even got to the leader yet. The leader's short on this one. Wow, dude. He's pulling so Oh, my hard right God. Now. Yeah, go, it's go. a big one. But I think you guys are going to want to get this thing out soon. Okay. You want to get it out? Or just put it when the fish comes on the boat. Hey, Gerardo. <laughs> oh my God, dude, he's just ripping down. Eric is talking about mine and Steven's good luck fishing song. We played it earlier for some luck. Remember, you don't pick your lucky song, it picks you. It's Liz, real. Go steer? Oh, I think. Yeah, I'll be. Go steer? Sure. Just watch that line. Okay, we're at leader. Okay, gaps. You got it, Chris? Not yet. Give He's me the in. six foot. Hey, we got to kick the cooler out. I see a color. Kick the cooler out. Kick the cooler out. Hold on, hold on. Wait a wow. second. Wait, wait, Dang. wait, wait, wait. Okay, you gotta get a, hold on, wait a second. Wait, I'll tell you when. Go, go, my rod, see if you can break it down. No, I'm oh. walking them down, let go. Here we go. You guys got him now. <laughs> get him down there. <laughs> We did it! Yes. We did it! Woo! Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> it looks maybe slightly bigger oh, than the other one. So oh god! Whoa, whoa. Is that a bad gaff shot by me? No. They're all good. Uh, yeah. You, <laughs> this in the boat. Get the knife and stab him. Woo! Oh, tangled in him. So this is the one Steven hooked while reeling in. Oh man! I think it's so hard. <laughs> that is awesome. He broke the How rod. How is that? Just really? The rod got stuck up here and I pulled down and snapped. Oh, man. Uh, it's all right. Got stuck on that rod. It's got stuck on something up there. We did it! We got two of them! I can't believe it! Steve, Eric, congrats guys! Number two just entered the boat. What was that like holding the rod when that thing bit? It was so unexpected. <laughs> just yeah, reeling it in and then boom! Oh man! I almost lost it in the water. Jeez. Can't believe it guys. Two big bluefin tuna on the boat today. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, later guys.